Welcome to the Embroidery Case Files. Where we answer the question, is commercial store-bought embroidery better than home embroidery? My name is Sue and this is Dawn and we're going to try to answer this question and close yet another case. Hey fellow embroidery artists, the Embroidery Case Files is meant to be educational only. We want to show commercial errors in embroidery and how much people pay for these errors and how much you can improve your embroidery skills by not making these errors. We would like to raise the bar on embroidery and make it better. Let's go back and examine the stitches for this Embroidery Case File. So this is another case of a hockey t-shirt a hockey sweatshirt it's a lot of hockey sweatshirts yes and this one is actually really more expensive because the shirt is actually under armor nice at which yeah it's a really nice shirt and you know all in all looking at it what do you think i think this embroidery looks pretty good yeah it does look pretty good it's nice sharp edges it's kind of pretty there are quite a few problems with it it may be hard to tell unless you can touch it though so what is the first problem that you see don i've got a couple i don't know how many you have on the list well i have, I have a couple i mean from feeling it it is it's a little thick well, that's the main problem what? that I would say. She doesn't wear this one because if you look, when I hold it like this, for example, the whole thing is stiff Material and it's hard. Points. Yeah, and it's really um, awkward to wear. It almost gets in the way it is so stiff. So this in Canada, we call this hockey puck embroidery. Even though it looks great, it feels like a hockey puck, a bulletproof. Bulletproof. Yeah, yes. well, this may save her life one day, we don't know, but um, <laughs> it it's, it's difficult to wear because it's so thick. So that is the reason why I'm going to give it a fail. It, it looks great, but it's so thick, it's almost unwearable. So do you know the reasons why? Let's figure out why, what makes hockey puck or bulletproof embroidery? Well, too dense, but it doesn't really appear to be... Well, some of it's a little dense, but... It seems kind of thick. It seems the satin stitches are thick. The main problem that I see is the um, applique fabric, which is fine. It's nice and thick, but they've doubled it up. So you have stabilizer, you have um, this app, black applique fabric, and then you have the red over top with layers of tatami or fill stitches with satin stitches over it. If you touch right there, it is like hard as a rock, right there. No, oh, yeah, it is. That's bulletproof. That, well, the whole thing is. So maybe what they should have done then is um, used a thinner, uh, like the black's the, end, the bottom layer, so maybe they should have used a thinner layer of material. Or even tatami stitches. Yeah. You could even lay and down the base the... with the tatami and eliminate one layer. So if you're going to layer applique, then, you know, obviously you're going to have three layers by the time you're done. And now right. you're putting on stitches over top of it that you're going to have how many layers at the end? That's a problem. Too many. So you have to solve that. Um, I think it would have been easier and probably look just as good. The other thing I don't like about this one is the... Uh, puckering on it. Yeah, I, I noticed that. The red puckering. It's kind of wrinkly here. We'll show close up pictures of what I'm pointing at. Let me see if I can do it this way. Look closely on here. It, it's kind of, it's not held down well enough, so it kind of moved maybe when they were doing. It looks like it. Yeah, and that kind of, I mean, it looks okay. You may look at it and say that it kind of adds to the effect of it. It gives it a bit of depth, but... Not really. To me, it looks sloppy embroidery. It does look sloppy. It, yeah. More than it... I think you can tack it down away. the material better than that. But I think that problem was caused by, you know, so many layers. It, it's got to be... I agree. I don't know what this material is again, but it's, it's pretty thick when you feel it. Like, the whole thing just feels hard as a rock. Mm -hmm. So I think one problem started at the beginning, and it just kept going and going and going until you end up with this... You know, it's nice looking, but it is really, really too thick. It is. Yeah. I wouldn't like to wear that either. Uh, not particularly, but all these layers here. So you have two layers of material plus this material plus the stabilizer that you're hooping on. And then we've got 
two layers of satin stitches. And wow, some of these satin stitches too are a bit too long, I think. Uh, a little bit, yeah. See, look at the difference in height between this and this. I'll see if I can get a nice picture of that. See right yeah, here, can, from the shirt really feel to it. here. Yeah, and that's from the different layers and the three layers of satin stitches that are on this. So this would almost be better suited if you were going to, other than the puckering from the red, it'd be better suited as a wall hanging. Yeah, maybe. It's not something you'd want to wear. No, I... It's too no, thick. No. Not, not comfortable. People don't tend to, to want to wear hockey pucks. So she loves the shirt, and it is Under Armour, which is a great <clears> brand. <throat> And she just doesn't really wear it because it's so uncomfortable. So the, the moral of this story is, the point of this case, is to make sure you're not putting too many layers, don't you think? Don't use any more than you need. Don't use any more than you need. And if you do a test stitch, test stitch everything, everyone, right? If you do a test stitch and your test stitch turns out stiff, it's not going to change once you make it and put it on a shirt or a hoodie or anything. Um, there is one more thing I'd like to show you guys on the back. You'll be a little surprised at this, Don. Look at the, the writing. Now, we're going to look really close. You can have this one if you want because, wow. wow. It is all split satin stitched. It looks thin, too. And too thin, and it sinks in too much. Uh, they should have used a, a more bold, a wider font than that, and definitely not split satin. That You can see too much in between. Yeah, so what they did is they took a, a font and just pulled it out to be the size that they wanted. And people, some people don't mind, like it's hard to see it on camera, we'll show up close pictures. I personally don't care for this look. I, I don't care for the, when the satin starts splitting, I don't care for it. Looks to me like, no. too, they need a little more underlay on their splits because I can see the material through yeah. it, uh, I'm thinking. I, I just, even in the S, look right in here. Yeah, it's a little... It, it's pretty thick. This see, part of the E doesn't look too bad, but... And there's there's no need to split satin in this, and because they did, it's pulling too much. Because that half of the split satin is too thin. Yeah. We'll have a nice picture of that. So what would you have done to fix it? I'm not even sure I'd have to look at it, but I well, don't think they needed to split anything. I don't think if you have the right angles, I don't think any of these satin stitches would be too long. No, I don't think, I don't think they are. It may be a little bit on the S here. It might be a little on the wide side, but even that one, I'd probably just let it go because you wouldn't notice it. It would hold it tight It might anyways. pull, though. It might pull. That's True. the only one I see. I would have to measure it. We don't have. We'd have to check that one. But the rest of it, there's no reason you can just use regular satin, satin stitches. stitch on it. Or change the whole thing to tatami or fill stitch. That solves the whole problem. You have nice sharp edges yeah. with the right underlay. You know, you'd have nice sharp edges, and I think everything would look right. And see, part of the problem is you can even see it from this point of view from the camera. See how it pulls in and puckers here, yeah. right here? And that's because, as with the S, the bottom serifs are so thin for the satin stitches. And they that's are. that's why it Brilliant. looks like that. I will say as a plus, they did use the right kind of um, stabilizer, although I think they used a little too much of it. This looks like two pieces of cutaway, yeah. which and really thick cutaway. I think you only would have had to do one. But kudos for them using uh, the proper type of stabilizer. Yes. We don't see that too often, do we? No. No. So uh, that's the moral of that hockey puck and split satin. So that should be some good learning for everyone. I think we've given the solution so you can do the lettering in quite a few different ways to make it look way better than this i really dislike this and then the hockey puck thing we talked about that how to make changes on that so you don't have you still have pretty embroidery but it doesn't have to be so thick that you can't wear it yeah. so i think we've given some good solutions this one looks better than most but it still has its problems so would you say we should close this file yeah do you think it's closed? case closed case closed and i think I do think a home embroiderer could do much better than this. We've learned not too many layers. I've seen lots of uh, multiple appliques and, and people do a pretty good job. They do more than I would do. 
Yeah, it's because it's the material. If you do it with thin cotton, they, you they can do, do quite it. quite a bit. I'm sure they could do something very nice with that. Yeah, much better. Yeah. So let's see. You guys can give us your opinion in the comments, what you guys think of this design and uh, how you think if there's any other ways to improve it. Also, you guys can uh, send in, if you want us to open a case file on anything that you have, you can send it in to us, drop us a note, make a comment, and we can certainly look at that and uh, maybe open a case file at it and solve it. Interesting. What do you think? Yeah. yeah, good idea. All right, everyone, we will stitch you later and we'll see you in the next case file opening. Bye, everyone.